In 2023, we have witnessed yet another year of extreme climate disasters. Electric vehicles, or EVs, are hailed as a beacon of hope in the fight against the climate crisis because their life cycle emissions are much lower than gasoline cars. But amidst the promises and buzz, it's time to unveil the truths about EVs. Are they replacing fossil fuel cars as fast as they should? And are they green enough to save us from the climate crisis? Myth shattered. The truth about electric cars in today's auto industry. Myth one: The transition to EVs worldwide is lightning fast. If you live in China or Norway, it might appear that the world is rapidly shifting to EVs. However, according to the recent auto climate ranking by Greenpeace East Asia, a staggering 94% of cars sold by the world's largest automakers are still powered by fossil fuels. What's more, the growth of EV sales globally is unevenly distributed. It's worth noting that the EV surge is led by all electric brands such as BYD and Tesla. Traditional automakers are struggling to keep up. Myth two: Toyota's hybrid. They are green and everywhere. Let's delve into Greenpeace East Asia's latest auto climate ranking, which places Toyota near the bottom. Joining us to talk about this is Mariko, Greenpeace East Asia campaigner from the Japan office. Toyota has been a pioneer in hybrid technology for over the last two decades. But there's a catch: hybrid cars may be seen as clean cars, but they still rely on fossil fuels. In fact, they reduce carbon emissions only about 30% compared to gasoline-powered cars. Toyota is the largest car company in terms of sales, but shockingly, in 2022. Not even one out of every 100 Toyota cars sold was an EV. Their multi-pathway strategy to include hybrids may delay the transition to EVs, and this can result in more carbon emissions into the atmosphere, worsening the climate crisis. Myth three: Electric SUVs. They are safe and green. SUVs are often advertised by car makers as safe and eco-friendly, but do these claims hold up? Let's hear from Heron, a Greenpeace East Asia campaigner from our Korea office. SUVs could offer more space and comfort, but their environmental footprints are large. SUVs are larger cars requiring more steel to make. That's a problem because steel production relies on coal, a very Polluting process. Also, SUVs consume more fuel than smaller cars when driving. So, it's alarming that car makers market SUVs as safe and green. Unfortunately, global SUV sales have been on the rise for the past three years. Here's a shocking fact: If SUVs were a country, they would rank as the sixth largest carbon emitter in the world. Wow. That's a concerning fact, Heron. Now I'm worried as I see so many SUVs on sale. Yes, Kelly, this is a critical issue. Let's take Hyundai for example. In 2022, SUVs made up over half of their sales, surpassing most top car makers. Their extensive use of steel has had a negative impact on their overall climate scores. Almost offsetting their efforts to transition to EV. Myth four: 100% EVs, a silver bullet for our climate. While some see EVs as an answer to our climate crisis, there are still questions about battery minerals and the availability of renewable energy charging. Automakers must move away from the current profit models of selling more fossil fuel cars and instead. Focus on mobility as a service. Mass, a shift away from private car ownership. Mass is a concept that combines public transportation, ride sharing, and bike sharing into a seamless journey, presented by mobility providers on a single platform with easy access to all of them. 
The global shared mobility market is on the rise. Today, when possible, more and more people choose not to own a car, but instead rent or lease one when needed. Public transportation and bike sharing are both green mobility options. To truly make a difference and stay relevant in today's mobility market, automakers must stop selling fossil fuel vehicles, transition to smaller electric cars, cut carbon emissions in the supply chain, reduce, reuse, and recycle battery minerals, provide accessible, affordable, and clean mobility services. And finally, ensure a just transition for workers. It's time to change the global auto industry. Drive change with us today.